Welcome back to Epic Airsoft HD. This week we have the Springfield XDM by WE. Welcome back to another review and range test at Epic Airsoft HD. Uh, before you guys go complaining about the intro, don't worry, we checked the chamber and the magazine didn't have any BBs in it. A couple of dry fires before we shot it. Anyway, this is the WE XDM. We recently done a similar pistol. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at some of the features of this specific gun. Uh, like I said in the unboxing, this is basically like someone has taken a Gen 4 Glock 17 and just smacked off a 1911 and this is what's happened to it. Thank you Seagulls. A uh, great little gun, nice and comfortable to hold. Uh, let's have a look at this back strap here. Uh, in the back you have a little pin you can push out. Uh, I'll try and get that out of there with this screwdriver. Don't know if we'll be able to get it out. It's kind of unimportant anyway, but obviously a main feature of this one. Uh, you can actually change out the back straps, which is a nice feature of this gun. The pin is nice and tight of course, you don't want to lose that out in the field and then your back strap comes off because that pin is going to be hard to replace. I, I don't know what size this one is but let's put a nice thick one on it. Of course it's really easy to do, you just push it on in the fashion that you're supposed to. It's the first time I've done this so just bear with me. You'll get it eventually. Alright, once it's in there you just push that pin back in and you're ready to rock. So that's a much thicker grip, I can feel it now at the bottom of my hand. Good for the guys with the big hands that aren't used to the little girly thin grip. So pretty neat. Uh, another cool feature of this gun is obviously it takes down like the real thing. So if I pull the slide back, engage the slide catch, pull this lever up and then engage the slide catch again, the whole front end will slide off. Now the advantage to it coming off easy is that you can actually adjust the hop unit, which is just here. I've adjusted it for 0.3 grams before we did the review, because that's what we're going to do with the shooting test. A nice big recoil spring here, and it gives a good thump when you fire the trigger, which we'll do and demonstrate to you later on. Right, let's put that back on again. This gun, WE, have deliberately made it compatible with Tokyo Marui upgrades, so that's good as well. If you want to put a tight bore barrel in there, then that is absolutely ideal. All right, it's locked into place. The slide on this is really smooth, there's no grip on it at all, which is good because it's going to give you more gas efficiency and you're going to get a higher, nicer cycle on the gun when you pull the trigger. You'll notice once I've racked the slide back, that on the end here, this little indicator tells you that the trigger is ready to fire. However, there is a backstrap safety, much like the 1911, but if I pull the trigger there without pushing this in, it won't engage and it won't fire your BB. You must be holding the backstrap. Again, there's another safety feature, so double safety on this gun. We're all big fans of safety here in Airsoft. Even if I push this back paddle and I don't have my finger properly engaged on the Glock type safety, again, the trigger won't pull. This must be pulled here before it can fire. So once I pull both of them together and pull the trigger, you hear that click. That's the firing pin engaging on the gas magazine to then project the BB forward. Alright, let's have a look at the magazine in specific before we go over some of the features again of this pistol. Magazine comes in chrome, very nice finish to it. WE do a really good job in polishing them up. Thing is with WE, I don't know what they've done. I think they've changed the whole entire factory around to brand new and they've went ahead and remanufactured all the pistols. The mouldings are a hundred times better and the casting on the metals is absolutely tremendous. If we were to do this here in the UK, this pistol would cost somewhere in the region of 200 to 250 pounds. But for some reason, WE have managed to manufacture this gun and it is being retailed at the moment in the airsoft world for a hundred pounds. That is an absolute bargain for a gun that comes with three back straps and a magazine. Excellent, really good quality gun. All right, gas magazines, relatively easy to fill up and use in the pistol. Take your green gas, squirt it in a little bit there till it's full. Then what you do is you pull this slide up, engage it at the back and you can go ahead and fill up the BBs. Try not to get them too mixed up in here. You'll notice that the BBs stagger inside and you want to get that nice and neat there. That's just going to help it perform a wee bit better. Alright, we'll let that go and I'll put my goggles on and we'll fire it a few times at the box in the machine room. 
So, operates like the real thing. Once it's in the gun, that magazine ain't going anywhere. Rack it back, engages it, and you can see there, the firing pin is ready. One of the features that I noticed, I thought actually was functional, isn't. It's actually locked up in, the, in this permanent position, is up. And the real XDM, once there's a round in your chamber, this little indicator tells you that there is a round in the chamber. Uh, I thought once the BBs weren't in it, they would go flat, but it's an unfunctioning part. But we don't really care about that because I guess that's pretty complicated, especially when you're just using BBs. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire it a few times. All right, cool. I don't know if you noticed that there, but I had a, a faulty BB that split in half as it came out the barrel. That is not good. We'll give it a clean before we go on the range test with it. Uh, that just happens with some BBs. You get the odd one that's like that. We call them flyers. That's the technical term for them. Right, still engaged there. Let's take off the firing pin. Sweet, so great little pistol. We've also got a forward rail there. When we do the summary, we'll put our M3 torch on that we got from Tiger 111 HK. So you can have a look at that. But yeah, excellent little pistol. So let's take it out on the range and see how it stacks against the other pistols that we've tested before. Okay, we've got it out on a 30 meter range test now. It's clamped in the vise here as tight as possible, but this gun kicks really hard, like I explained. So with the first few test shots we fired, it was actually increasingly creeping up on the target. So um, I'm gonna try and grip it as hard as I can in order not to move it. Of course, we try and eliminate a lot of human element in here, but sometimes it's just unavoidable, especially with something like recoil with this. All right, we've tested a gun of the same manufacturer before, very recently, and we got a really, really tight gripping, actually the tightest that we've had. Not just for a pistol, but just overall completely. So this has a lot to live up to. All right, let's fire at least 10 to 12 rounds on the target and see how close we can get it. Let's go for it. Of course, the backstrap safety here, I have to kind of tweeze and then pull the trigger at the same time. So let's see what we can do with it. All right, it looked pretty good from here. But let's have a look at the target. Okay, let's have a look at the target. I, as I suspected from there, I actually shot really well. The unfortunate thing is, it did suffer from the recoil. As you can see, the spread is actually vertical, which means when I was firing it, I was adjusting out in increments up and down because of the recoil strength. It was bouncing out the rubber grips. The thing is, I can't take out the rubber because I really don't want to damage the gun. But you get an idea of how accurate it's going to be. If we can hold this gun exactly in the same place in a constant, uh, it's going to be shooting perfectly. However, if you're a real shooter, you're going to suffer much more from the recoil as well because you're not solid vice. You've got muscle reaction to take into account and it's really down to the shooter then with the pistol. Saying that, 30 meters is a long distance to engage someone with an airsoft pistol. You're going to be using it within CQB confinement, say 10 meters, 20 meters maximum. So for a gun this accurate, it's going to be absolutely ideal. And the clack off the bolt is pretty intimidating. If one of these guys comes running around the corner with one of these and starts firing at you, you're going to hear it and you're going to react. And that's really cool. Something I really like about gas blowback guns. So yeah, very impressed with that target, especially with the 0.3 gram BBs. Uh, we could set up the hop unit, maybe to carry fours, because that was about halfway and the BBs were still kind of lifting at the end. So we can push this out to about 50 meters, which is crazy range for a pistol. WE, obviously, putting up the performance of the guns very, very high and setting the benchmark for the other manufacturers like Tokyo Maru. That's really cool. That's what we like to see about airsoft guns. Innovation. Keep it going, WE. Very surprised at you guys. So yeah, beautiful pistol. And the most beautiful thing about this gun is it is 100 pounds. To get the Tokyo Maru version, you're 150 pounds for the XDM version of theirs, and I really don't think it's as good as this, this gun. Uh, for the you're getting the real steel trades on this, which is obviously advantageous. You're getting the three back straps, much like the uh, the Tokyo Maru version. So to save yourself 50 pounds and get something that's already got a really hard kick and a metal slide, uh, it's, it's going to push out there. And I'm a really, really big fan of TM. If you watched the previous episodes, guys, if you don't want to miss our next episode coming up hit the subscribe button down there. Uh, we'll show you some videos of this as well. Uh, we've got one of Scout the Doggies, 
Uh, we've also got our last week's episode, so click on those annotations, it'll take you there, it'll open up in a new window, you can check that out. If you want to see where you can buy this gun, as always, check Airsoft World out in the links in the description below, they've been helping us out from the very start, so we appreciate that, that's great guys. Anyway, we'll see you next Sunday for our next review.